um, I'm like 18 now. I can choose what I want to do. I'm living here and that's final. I'm staying here. It's going to be so much better here. No. I'm going to have the greatest time of my life. Parents, they don't understand at all. This place is going to be wonderful. I had a new car for Christmas. Oh dear, you can have mine. It's a Mercedes Benz. I hope you like it. It's right out there. Miss Singleton, here at Luxury Mattress Emporium, we have selected you as our top mattress tester. After reading your report on this wonderful new foreign design, we have decided to give you a raise. You will receive 85,000 a year and you will get the Golden Mattress Award. Thank you, Mr. Schickel Groover. Oh, I love my job, testing out luxury mattresses. I could do this for years to come. like been in there like 10 hours. I need to go. I need a shower. I'm going somewhere. Hurry up. It's only been five minutes. Five minutes too long, dude. Come on. Well, sorry. Maybe next time I'll make a world record. another roommate. Then who's gonna help you pay the rent? Ha! Huh? Well, I'm getting tired of listening to your mouth, too. This isn't the only apartment in the world, you know. You're leaving before your contract's up? I'm telling the landlady- Who put this here? It was your fault, wasn't it? I hate you so much! Yeah, come in. Miss Singleton. You haven't dusted these steps to get today. I put my finger on them, dust, mm -hmm. and the rent in this room, you haven't paid your rent in almost two months. It's late, and I don't know what Mr. Schicklegroover is going to say when he sees the dust on the floor and the cobwebs in the attic. Well, sorry. I mean, so what? There's dust on the floor. Woohoo, that's where we walk. Um, and rent, yeah, I don't have any money. That's kind of part of having an apartment. I'll pay you when I have the money, okay? I only let you rent this apartment because of my long-standing friendship with your mother since our high school days. But you're proving to be just a lazy, good-for-nothing, shiftless just person just like all the rest of these kids today. And I'm not going to stand for it. I'm not going to have one deadbeat in my apartment rooms. I, and I mean it. I'm putting my foot down. And if you don't get your act together, young lady, you're going to be out here on your ear. So you think about that for a change. Oh, Mr. Schicklegruber, uh, we're so glad you could come. Um, I have to say that we're not completely ready to move that young lady that's been working for us, Miss Singleton. I'm afraid she's been falling down on the job. And I hope you don't have too terrible a report. I told her, I friend her with eviction, but she just won't listen. What have we here? 
Oh! Must be one of the tenants. I wouldn't be surprised if it's Miss Singleton herself. She's always trying to be smart. We'll see about that. This, you know, George Washington slept here. This does not look good. Hmm. <sighs> Stupid job. Steve is my apartment. Sounds like Cinderella work, except, yeah, what I'm gonna go to Prince Charming. Miss Singleton? Miss Singleton? Yes? Did you leave this in the hallway? Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Do you know George Washington slept here? Didn't you know that? Didn't you know that? Well, I'm pretty sure you like donuts. What we mean is that such as that does not fit with the atmosphere that I have been trying to maintain here. Now look at that. That is what I call atmosphere. That's what I call boring. It seems, Miss Singleton, you do not appreciate culture and historical atmosphere. Well, here's something maybe you will appreciate. Miss Stockton has been telling me you have been lax in your duties. Not cleaning up like you should be. In fact, you haven't even been paying your rent like you should be. We have been giving you a reduced rate in exchange for cleaning up. However, you have not been fulfilling your obligation in that matter. Oh my god, what's oh my god, it's a spider! Ah! Kill oh. it! Kill it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What am I supposed to do about it? Kill it? I don't know how to. Mom always did that. Well, your mom isn't here. Uh, what's the next best thing? I don't know what to do when mom's not here. I mean, you're supposed to call when there's a spider on the wall. Um, the landlady! Miss Stockton! Miss Stockton! There's a spider on our floor! What do you want? Oh my god, Mrs. Stockton, there's a spider! And she won't kill it! And I can't kill it! It's too grimy! Oh my goodness! I am not your mother. So there's a spider on the floor. So you kill it yourself. Stomp on it or put a book over it or a paper towel. Besides, Miss Singleton, you're supposed to be the cleaning woman in here. You should be the one killing the spiders. But it was a big black one. It was a key. If you can't handle a little thing like killing a bug, then maybe you shouldn't be living on your own. I'm the landlady and I'm not responsible for killing bugs. You kill your own bugs. And if you just can't handle it, then you just go home to mother. Perhaps you should stay there in the first place, sweetie. I can't take it anymore. All these spiders and these floors and the landlady. I just want to go back to mom. Don't be such a wimp. I left my job at my father's used cars lots to clean chicken coops here and I'm perfectly happy because I am independent. But what about the spider on the wall and what if it crawl into your bed tonight? My bed? I don't want that. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh, father, I'm coming home. I don't care how strict mom's rules are. It has to be better than this.